My name is Victor Yates, and I'll be reading from Death Sentence, a poem in six parts. One, in sun up, sun down town, don't let the sun set on your crown of perpetual loss, loss pressed down. Being born brown in America means breathing the past she denies. In 1970, boys in blue chase blacks out the jewel city. During quarantine, Cops continued arresting black protesters, violating curfew. Raising one fist, fighting for future framed doorways, with black faces amazed, not by white audacity, but lack thereof. Raising one fist, fighting for a future in which, flashing light seen in rear view, do not incite frustration and heart palpitation. Raising one fist for a woman who wore medical blues, that as she slept, not knowing injustice crept into her living room. Three, the first time someone called me the N-word was in West Hollywood. When I was 16, my mother told me smile while at the DMV with my photo being taken. If I was stopped by the police, they wouldn't think I was threatening. To be young, gifted, and black means nothing at 12 a.m. and a cop pulls you over. At a nightclub on Santa Monica, a white man kicked me in the back and security kicked me out. He owned the club. In 1969, if you were black, you had to show three picture IDs to set foot into the clubs. I'm not young anymore, and I haven't had anything to smile about in months. We're taught from the moment we leave the house that we're black. Blackness is reason enough to be attacked. Some nights at 3 a.m., I wake up with a wingtip stuck in my back. Four. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the cops aren't called to keep the peace with spray of bullets. Angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Under morning light and flashlight, Eric Gardner said, I can't breathe. Died in a prohibited chokehold. Sergeant James Brown said, please take the mask off, I can't breathe. Died after injected twice with sedatives. Willie Ray Banks said, I can't breathe. Died after shocked with tasers multiple times. Brianna Taylor, last words unknown. Be a voice for Brianna and speak up for black women. Be hands for Willie and hold on to each other. Be legs for Eric and those whose names are unknown and stand up for someone else. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. My black life matters. Five, to exhibit skill 
English archers would shoot arrows through the eye sockets of a bull's skull. The first Target store opened in the suburbs of St. Paul, Minnesota in 1962. It's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. In 2016, Philando Castile was murdered for being black and suspicious. I wasn't reaching for it was all they heard before there were no sounds. The cop holding the gun felt threatened. Horns, unlike antlers, are an extension of the skull and usually found in both males and females. To live in a black body means balancing the burden of hundreds of skulls to allow in other burdens. A cop locked his kneecap into the neck of George Floyd for eight minutes and 46 seconds, killing him in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Across the country, riots broke out following attacks at the hands of the police in 1967. It was called the Long Hot Summer. It's kind of Alice in Wonderland with the same moving image reshown over and over and over again. So when the bulls I burned during the protests, no one had to tell me. My skull itched from the shock of new bones as smoke filled my home. Six, stuck in an endless loop of police violence videos, constantly thinking, am I next? How do you recoup? Self-care, a critical component to racial justice. Be open in the moment. Step away, practice gratitude, burn candles, set the mood, limit news intake, create a sacred space. Tell yourself, I am enough. Remember breath. I am worthy of respect. Remember breath. Speak nourishment into your life. Remember breath. Remember breath. Remember breath. Remember breath. Remember breath. And say, I am blessed. <laughs>